Hello everybody. Today I want to welcome you all to what is most likely your very first course in college level statistics. If this is not your very first course, then you might find this introductory lecture a little bit boring, but hopefully you're in the right place and this is your first course. So we should really begin by discussing what statistics is and the academic subject which we call statistics, which is a singular noun, is typically used to reduce data. I want you to imagine, for example, that we have, say, a thousand pieces of data, let's say a thousand individuals, and we want to see who among those thousand individuals possess a certain attribute or characteristic. And we might render these in percentages. A single percentage will take all that data and reduce it to a single number. And a percentage would be an example of a statistic. And here, a statistic is a singular noun, and the subject of statistics, even though it has an S at the end, is also a singular noun. However, statistics can also be a plural noun, which is the formulae that we actually would use in order to reduce all this data. So. Let's look at this. Suppose we have hundreds of examination scores. We can have various statistics that we can use upon these examination scores, such as the average, the lowest grade, the highest grade. And these are three types of statistics. And these three types of statistics reduce all these examination scores into three simple statistics. The average, the lowest grade, which happens to be called the first order statistic and the highest grade, which happens to be called the nth order statistic. Now the letter N is used to represent the sample size in statistics, the letter N. And just like we could say fourth, fifth, sixth, in statistics, we actually do say nth. That's something that you might have to get used to. We also say ith. The letter I represents something called an index. And so we'll use, you know, ideas like first, second, third, fourth, ith, and nth. And that is actually something that you will meet in statistics. The point is that when we take these hundreds of statistics, the hundreds of examination scores, and we reduce them into, let's say, one statistic or even three statistics, this is what's called data reduction. And data reduction is applying the academic subject, which we call statistics. So let's do a little example here, just to sort of put this on home. Um, Example 1.1, let's look at adult literacy scores. And I'm going to have the computer read this so you don't have to listen to my voice constantly because that could be um, a little bit soporific. According to the National Center for Public Policy and Higher Education, NCPPHE, 26% of Illinois residents achieved high scores on the National Adult Literacy Survey, NALS, in prose literacy, compared with 24% nationally who did so a difference of 8.3% in favor of Illinois. Now, if you notice the fine print here, we actually have the source. And I'm going to let the computer read the source, just, you know, because you should know where this information comes from. Source, Miller, M.A. Annual, P.T., 2005, Measuring Up on College Level Learning. The National Center for Public Policy and Higher Education. National Center Report Hashtag 05-8 HTTP colon slash slash www.highereducation.org slash report slash mu underscore learning slash index dot shtml. So that's one way that you can cite a source if you ever have to cite a source. This is a source that came from the internet. But the question here is... What are the statistics that are in presented in example one? Well, there's, one. An extra, there's an extra word here, in. I'm going to take that out because that word is not necessary. So the answer is that all three of these percentages are actually statistics. 
right? Because they summarize or reduce a potentially large number of observed data values into a smaller, more manageable number of values. So that's an example. And so one of the things I really want to emphasize is that we can use this word statistics as a plural noun, and we could use this word statistics as a singular noun. And they mean different things, though they are related to each other. So as a plural noun, I'm going to let the computer read this so you don't always have to hear my voice. The results of using mathematical rules or formulae, which combine a potentially large number of observed data values into a smaller, more manageable, number of values. This statistical process is often called data reduction. So again, this is really the idea that we want um, you guys to sort of get, is that statistics are mathematical formulas that reduce data. And examples are the mean, perhaps the maximum, the minimum, percentages, things such as like that, proportion. But let's contrast this with statistics as a singular noun. So as a singular noun, the academic discipline involved in summarizing and describing populations of measurements, as well as the methodology used to make inferences about the underlying factors that, potentially, define these populations. Now this word, inference, this is a really important word. So is summarizing or describing. These are two very important words. And they're actually two different approaches that the academic subject of statistics deals with. And we actually have two types of statistics. One is called descriptive statistics and the other is called inferential statistics. And we will talk about both.